CT locates AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You got the payload? Fuck, I think we'd go back in. Don't trust the Kenny dogs. Zero day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Hey, Bags. Can you figure out who was running the spider bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Hold on. The police watched this happen? continues behind that rubble. Hmm, guess I'll just open up a quantum tunnel and walk through? Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good call. Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Noted. nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bomb that were planted at Parliament. That is Zero Day's signature. There, hurry. We've got all the deliveries. So you hired to fire all the targets? Shut it. We're all on need to know. Whoa, so Zero Day used a bunch of different crews to pull off the bombings. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. The bloody police had a tail on the real bombers and they didn't even say anything. They could have cleared DeadSec's name. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard.
Really taken over the whole station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. Great. So Albion have managed to make me miss the police. That's another reason to hate them. Not to worry. The only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the spider bot will be further in. Is that the same spider bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you find out who the user was? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. On it. <laughs> that opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected.
That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. They couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Suddenly, some corporation could clean up our street better than the same police. But who knows how long? When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. That would be bad for business, right? So don't tell me Albion has our best interests on our Suddenly. If the police could handle their job, Albion wouldn't be necessary. But they can't. Tone bombing is a perfect example. A bunch of lazy, overpaid cops are asleep at the wheel. Well, they're not at the wheel anymore, are they? Oh, I've been around the world long enough. Now, you know, bloody cowards. They say they're trying to protect us from criminals and illegal. Really, they're just afraid someone's going to come along and knock them off their island. this last fence path.
much better. Stay down! Got it! Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Okay, sure. I hear something. <clears throat> satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed his location to a specific ground station. You mean like a secret location? Oh, this just keeps getting weirder. Let's check it out. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Voice of objection for a most objectionable world. Auto drive welcome to the bug, the comedy show that holds up the Medusa of satire to the already immovably concrete face of modern Britain. Mm -hmm. I'm Andy, I've been 480, and I can crack it in <laughs> half just by looking at it. Can I? Well, what is reality anymore? Alice, what are you benching? Auto drive, now disabled. Well, not my body weight, okay. body weight of a baby. <laughs> Bags, how can I get in there? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly dings these cold... Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Well, it's a nice spot to keep things on the down low. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames.
looks like a secret bunker filled with police stuff. I think they've set up a clandestine station in here. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Definitely. What were they working on that led them to the tone attack? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police for us had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead second surgeons, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught... Well, this will be my last entry, but I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Oh, come on. on. We already have the Albion problem on our hands. Now there's the Kellys to deal with, too. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. They're kidnapping people right off the street. We have to do something. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London-born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Shit. Well, good news, he's in the country and no one's taking the bodies from us. Bad news, the EPC sucks. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. 